Hello kids, how are you? I hope you all are good. Today we are going to start with a new chapter that is very interesting. That is, we are more about Scratch 3.0. So this will be our coding class today. We will be learning about Scratch 3.0 which we have done in our last classes as well. You very well know this is a fun based visual programming language developed by MIT. So in this class we will learn to develop stories, games, which includes graphics as well as sounds. So this will be a fun class today. So let's begin with Scratch 3.0, block and block shapes, adding a new sprite, changing the stage backdrop, project, event based programming, forever block, saving a project. So let's just start the chapter. Nikhil, do you know how to make animated stories? Yes, we create simple animated stories and games by forming block stacks in Scratch. Come, I will teach you. Scratch 3.0 Scratch is a simple, fun-based visual programming language designed by the lifelong kindergarten group at MIT. It helps us learn the basic programming concepts in an interactive manner. In Scratch, we create simple animated stories and games which includes graphics and sounds. Scratch projects are made up of sprites. We can choose our sprite from sprites list. We can give instructions to a sprite, telling it to move or interact with other sprites. To tell a sprite what to do, snap together the given blocks into stacks called code. Blocks from different categories can be used to program the sprites. The method of programming with building code with blocks is referred to as drag and drop programming. Blocks and block shapes. Blocks. Blocks are color coded by category. There are nine block categories. These blocks are dragged to code area for coding sprite. Types of block shapes. Stack blocks are used to perform the main commands. These blocks have a notch at the top and a bump at the bottom. We can place other blocks above as well as below the stack block. Hat blocks are used to start the script. These blocks have a rounded top and a bump at the bottom. We can place this block at the top of other blocks. Reporter blocks hold values in the form of numbers and strings. These blocks have rounded edges. These blocks can fit into another blocks as long as the slots fit. Cap blocks are used to end the scripts or project. These blocks have a notch at the top and a flat bottom. We cannot place any block below them. C blocks are also known as wrap blocks which have a shape of C alphabet. C block has a notch on the top and a bump at the bottom. We can place other blocks inside the C block. Boolean blocks contain conditions that are either true or false. These blocks are of hexagonal shape. They can fit in number inputs too. Adding a new sprite. Click on choose a sprite button. Click on choose a sprite option. Choose a sprite window appears. Select a category for the sprite. By default, all is selected. Click on the desired sprite. This new sprite is added to the sprites list and is also displayed on the stage. We can use the buttons of Sprite Info pane and give Sprite a new name and change its directions too. Drag the Sprite to the desired place on the stage. Painting a new Sprite, click on Choose a Sprite button. Click on Paint option. The Costumes tab appears that can be used to create new Sprites with the help of tools from the toolbar and color palette. Click on the Drawing tools from the toolbar. Draw the sprite on the canvas, we can use different colors and apply a range of special effects. The new sprite is added on the stage with the name sprite 2 as well as on the sprites list. We can use the sprite text box and give sprite a new name. Click on code tab to return to the program. Drag the sprite to the desired place on the stage. Uploading sprite from file. Click on choose a sprite button. Click on upload sprite option. Navigate the file we want to upload as a sprite and click on it. 
Click on Open button. The new sprite is added on the stage as well as in sprites list area. We can use the size option to grow or shrink the size of the new sprite. Drag the new sprite to the desired place on the stage. Changing the costume of sprite. Click on Costumes tab. We will see Chicky, Chickby, and Chicksy costumes under the Chick Sprites costume list. Click on Chickby costume. The new sprite costume is added on the stage as well as in the sprites list area. Changing the stage backdrop. Click on Choose a backdrop button. Click on Choose a backdrop option. Choose a backdrop window appears. Select the category for the backdrop. By default, all is selected. Click in at the backdrop from the various backdrop options. New backdrop is added to the stage right behind the cat. Project, sprites moving and talking to each other. Select the two sprites, cat and mouse, from choose a sprite option. Select a backdrop from choose a backdrop option. Set their positions to create the scripts. Click on the sprite. Drag the look speech bubble block to the code area. Type the message in the text box of the block. Click on the another sprite. Drag the look speech bubble block to the code area. Type the message in the text box of the block. Click on motion block and drag the block to the code area. When we bring this block below the speech block, it will attach itself. Change the number of steps to 20 in the text box of the block. Click on the events block and add it to the top. Click on the green flag and watch the sprites moving and talking to each other. Event-based programming. A block stack is nothing but a program code or a script. Event is an action or occurrence detected by a program. Events can be user actions, such as clicking a mouse button or pressing a key, or system occurrences, such as running out of memory. Blocks from control, sensing and events category help us repeat actions, check conditions, and take actions according to the occurrence of events. Program Sprite with Arrow Keys Click the Code tab. Click the Events button. Select when key pressed block and drag it into the code area. Click on down arrow button. A pop-up menu appears. Click on the particular key to choose from. In this example, we have chosen up arrow. When we press this key on the keyboard, the sprite will move. Click on motion button. Select set rotation style block and place it under previous block. Click on down arrow button. A pop-up menu appears. Select the rotation style. In this example, we have chosen all around. Select point in direction 90 block and fix it under previous block. Click on white box. Set the direction by rotating the arrow. In this example, we have chosen up. A sprite is direction value controls in which direction it will rotate. Select move 10 steps block and drag it into the code area and fix it under previous block. Click on looks button. Select next costume block and drag it into the code area and fix it under previous block. By using the steps 1 to 15, create three more scripts with different keys and directions. The program is ready. It's time to check the codes. Press the arrow keys from the keyboard and we will see the following position of the sprites according to respective block stacks. Forever block. The forever block in the control block is used to run the execution of blocks inside them multiple times. A loop is set when same set of blocks are executed repeatedly. When we click forever block, the blocks held inside this block get executed in a loop and that loop never ends until the red flag is clicked. This block is mainly used to perform a task repeatedly. Saving a project. Click on file menu. Click on Save to your computer. Save as dialog box appears. Navigate the location where we want to save the project. Type the name of the project in the new file name text box. Click on Save to save the project.